One more question? Yes. Uh, from up there, uh, you must have noticed all the chemtrails being sprayed all over our globe. Um, from time my, to time. My question is, uh, I'd like to know why. I, I don't know if it's they think they're doing this for good intention or if they're really just trying to kill us all. <laughs> they, in some sense, are under the misguided impression that they need to do certain things in a certain way to balance out the climate of your planet. But the idea is that they're actually putting a lot more poisons in the air because they're not necessarily using the substance that would actually work. Gold. Mm. Atomic gold? Yes. Um, if they were to use that, it would actually balance out the climate of your planet with absolutely no ill side effects whatsoever. But because you value the idea of the gold in a completely different way, you hoard it in that sense and don't use it in these kinds of circumstances where it would actually be of benefit to your entire global climate pattern. Now, much of what you're experiencing is, in a sense, a natural cycle, although it has been exacerbated by many of the things that the people on your planet have done technologically. But the idea of warming and cooling cycles on your planet are natural and periodic. The idea, however, is that you can balance them out much more smoothly by approaching them with an appropriate form of technology, which you're not doing. So, in a sense, they sort of think they're trying to balance some of these things out, but like many of the things you think improve your life, they're highly toxic. Yes? Yes. All right. Now, there are other things connected to this, but we don't go into those. We are staying on the level of the idea of expressing the direct technological connection and effects, and we are not at this point of a mind to deal with any other particular intentions that might be connected to this scenario. All right? Okay. Do you wish to remain in the negative world? No. no. Then we will not reinforce that negativity. <laughs> you see, this is a very interesting paradoxical use of power. The idea is that many people on your planet have a very strong control of information. They have first and foremost used that control of information to make it appear as if they actually control more than they do. So the idea is that when individuals, and again it doesn't mean that you should not be aware that individuals may have negative intentions, but when many individuals go to the extremes of starting to look into what you call conspiracy theories and they assign these powers, these abilities to do the things that you're all afraid they can do to these people, you are thus then giving them that ability. So the great, I'll just say it this way, the great joke from those people attempting to give you that impression is that the people that are attempting to be whistleblowers are actually their greatest advertisers. <laughs> Because they make people believe that they actually have the ability to do more than they do. And that's the joke. So lighten up on yourselves. Don't give them the power. And you will shift your vibration to a parallel reality in which they don't even exist eventually. <laughs> All right? That'd be very nice. That's how you change the world. You don't change the world you're in, you change yourself through your actions, through your knowingness, through your energy, through your behaviors, and you shift yourself to a parallel world that's already more reflective of the world that is representative of the change you've made in yourself. Does that help? Yes, it does. Then happy trails okay. to you. <laughs>